Hey, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And we're the Two Gay Reefers. Hey guys, it's Gordon here from Two Gay Reefers. We're here with Nick from Fur and Fins, and hey we have a special treat for you today. Uh, we are getting to unbox the new Reefer, uh, Red Sea Reefer Skimmers. Nick, tell us about the skimmer. Um, yeah, so these skimmers have been uh, anticipated by the world. Australia was one of the first countries uh, to receive them. Um, absolutely fantastic. Love all the features um, that are in there. So let's get this uh, bad boy unboxed. We'll assemble one. So yeah, let's get unboxing. Um, and then yeah, we can go from there. So straight off the bat, um, you'll see how well packaged these skimmers are, which is uh, pretty good. So up in the top, turn it down like that. Your stitchy pumps in there. So I'll tell you made pump, uh, which is uh, which is good. Get your hold that. Packed in there nice and tight, which is good. Box out of the way. Um, so yeah, so cool thing. Two massive rubber bands. Four rubber bands. Yep, make a great slingshot. Reavers never have enough rubber bands. Exactly. <laughs> when you're packing those extra large bags of fish out. <laughs> Cool, so this is the new Reefer Skimmer, which is awesome. So this is the little baby one. So this is rated up to a 300 litre SBS dominant tank. Which one um, is this one? So this is the 300. What range of tank would this be for? Um, so 300 litre SBS dominant, um, all the way up to a 900 litre fish only system. So let's um, unpackage this. So um, we've got uh, another box here with all the accessories. Um, a beautiful skimmer cup here. Pretty unique, this little skimmer cup. Um, it's got the um, self-cleaning blade in there, which is awesome. So we'll undo this. Main body of the skimmer. What I like about this skimmer, I don't know if we can see it on camera, the outlet of the skimmer is on the bottom, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we can adjust that um, for fine tuning. And this is really good because I find it so easy to fine tune your uh, skimmer to get a wet dry uh, skim if you want, or depending on how you like your skim, mate. Got a nice, um, uh, polished um, acrylic skimmer. So these are injected molded too. So yeah, so in here we've got our um, bubble plate, um, which is pretty cool. Four screws to undo the main body of the skimmer. These are all plastic too, so you don't have to worry about any rusting or any of those sorts of things. So other than the, the, the motors themselves, it's all, it's all plastic? All plastic. This is a pretty unique skimmer as well because there's three ways you can mount it. You can have it mounted here for your intake, there as well, and then turning around or depending on your sump configuration to optimize the water flow. Makes uh, it really flexible as well. So if you haven't got a lot of room in your sump, you can actually position it the way you want it, you want yep, it to be. So. Which is cool. And then all you need to do is basically change the, the model of the of here where the quick release uh, pump is. So in here, we've got our um, beautiful Suchi pump, uh, Italian made, which is good. Can't beat those Italians. Good coffee, good motors. Exactly, nice cars too. And nice cars. Another thing that really impressed me as well, this little rubber bit actually goes into the base of the skimmer to help keep the water in there and then also protect your um, protect your cord because there's a few skimmers on the market where the cords run out the base where there's no nothing in there so it's a hard edge um, on your skimmer. So that all help, helps dampen uh, the noise. So we just run our cord down around through there and then our little plastic bit just goes in here like that and that helps hold our cord in place, which is awesome. Another cool feature was the quick release um, on that. That makes it nice and easy when you need to clean it. Clean it. You can just pull, uh, take it off really quickly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, a few other skimmers um, on the market um, that you have to undo four screws. So, a bit more time consuming if you're maintenance poor, like a few people. Um, so yeah, which is pretty cool. Nice. Obviously, the bubble diffuser uh, with the with the bubble plate. So the whole principle of, of basically bubble diffusers is to basically keep uh, the water and air in as long a suspension as possible. Um, because obviously, the more time your bubble is basically in the water, the more proteins are attracted to it. So then that way we're getting a better skim. That locks our bubble plate down in there, which is uh, which is awesome with this bit here is you can actually change this to suit the outlet of your skimmer as well. Bubble plate on top, put our screw down. This guy goes down on top now, four screws in. So these are our, our other accessories. So super long hose, uh, which I thought was a brilliant feature, it just keeps going. A meter uh, long. Meter long, which is awesome. Makes it nice and easy so you can uh, remove that waste out of there without actually taking the whole skimmer apart. So yeah, so that obviously goes onto the back of the, the skimmer here, which we can connect on. Other beautiful feature as well is you've got your foam viewing, uh, which is good. Um, the other little um, features tells you how many uh, litres of waste you're pulling out of the system. So that guy, Next onto there like that. So that just 
it just pushes in. Just, just pushes in. Yep. Air silencer valve here. Another nice little feature that I like as well is sometimes, well, depending on how deep you've got your skimmer set in there, they've actually got a little drain valve in the bottom, so if your air silencer ever fills up with water, you just pop that off, all the water's gonna drain out. So that basically just connects into there like that. And then we have got basically um, our Venturi. That just basically slides into position. Tight, that's all rubber in there to uh, dampen the, the vibration and the noise. And then that connects basically onto there, which is good. And then the last thing you need to do for your skimmer is on the bottom, you've basically got four little suction cups, rubber mounts, which go on the bottom. So that's basically the 300 out of the box, ready to go. So we'll take a look at ours now running on the, the big 900 on our um, 650. So this is the big 900 that we put on our um, 650. And that's the biggest one? That is the biggest one rated for 900 litre um, SBS dominant uh, system. Um, so yeah, so up to 900 litres uh, of water volume, which is really cool. As you can see, it is super quiet now. It will be yeah. quiet so you, yeah, you can listen for yourself. Compared to our previous skimmer that we had on the system, um, that was the first thing that I noticed. Uh, was how quiet uh, this skimmer was. Uh, second thing that I really liked about it uh, was the foam viewing window. So we can see basically with our, um, our skimmer we're getting basically a good foam production up the top there. So with any of your skimmers, you want a nice fine bubble uh, basically circulating in the skimmer, bouncing around, keeping it as long as possible in contact time, and then moving up to your larger bubbles and then basically back into your smaller bubbles. Um, so then that way we're attracting as much proteins to, to those bubbles as possible skimming out. This is a relatively low stock tank and we're still producing a skim made out of this so we've roughly I think this is about 750 mils overnight because I've cleaned it almost every day um, so yeah so pretty easy to clean. Um, turn this handle around so that way you're cleaning the inside of your skimmer um, which is which is good and that really doesn't affect the head height as well. Really you don't even need to pull the skimmer cup off because with the big drain line you can drain your waist down into a bucket clean that because that blade runs from the top all the way basically down underneath there. The other thing that I really like about the skimmers as well super easy to adjust um, so if we want to go down we can do that and almost an instant response with, uh, with the head height dropping down and then coming up the top there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, really thank you to Red Sea for letting us do this and thank you to Nick from Fair and Finch for letting us do this. I highly recommend these, these skimmers, they are fantastic. Uh, everything I'm hearing about them online so far has been fantastic. They definitely got a spot in everyone's tank. Yeah, no, look, we're, I'm super impressed. Yeah, come down and see us, we'll be able to help you out. Yep. Uh, Nick's definitely got heaps in stock at the moment. Probably got more coming, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, no, so we've got more coming. Come down awesome. to him. Uh, we'll link, link to his shop below. All right, guys, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, hit that big subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when our videos come out every Sunday morning, 8.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Would like to say a big thank you to Nick from Fair and Fins for all the support he's given to our channel over the last 12 months or so. Uh, it's been fantastic. <laughs> but that's it for today, guys. Have an awesome day. And keep it salty. We recommend these th these um uh <laughs> <laughs> I recommend these there's the wind. <laughs> That's it.